We wanted to share some video we're just getting in from Wisconsin. This is a damage caused by storms headed our way right now. You're looking at uh, Waukesha, Wisconsin tonight. Trees are down, power lines down, some residences damaged. This is just outside of Milwaukee. Look at that. Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca here now with an update on when the storm will hit here. Yeah, this has been a really interesting setup. We've been talking about the potential for severe weather all day, even for the last several days, but it really comes down to the hours before an actual event, before we can pinpoint which storms are going to be the troublemakers. So if we look at Storm Track Live, you can very evidently see which storm is going to give us trouble. We have bright reflectivity, those bright colors indicating hail, heavy rain, and we have flashes of lightning. In addition to this, if we go into our wind tracker mode from that system that just rolled through Milwaukee, and we sample some of the initial or inner portions of this storm, this bullseye right here is coming in close to 100 miles per hour. Even some of the lesser portions of the storm still coming in close to 74 miles per hour. So again, that's a loft. That's that's in the, the early top portions of the storm. But what we are expecting to happen, and unfortunately what will probably happen, some of those fast winds getting kicked down to the surface. So if you think about our surface wind speeds being 74 to 80 miles per hour, that's enough to knock down trees and take down power lines. You can also see it's a fairly broad system here, and it's getting longer and longer as we speak. So we are expecting Algon County, Van Buren County, Kalamazoo County especially to be impacted by this. I want to show you some of the arrival times. South Haven, 722. Bangor, 738. Goldbull, 746. Unlike a tornado warning, when we see lines like this, it's a whole big batch of very fast winds instead of just a narrow strip. So unfortunately, these high wind events can cause a lot of power outages that last for several days instead of just a few days. Severe weather risk, you can see who's most under the gun here. That's a moderate risk, four out of five. So we are on extra alert for everyone in West Michigan, but especially South Haven to Kalamazoo. Again, here is the problem child, so to speak. It's going to continue to roll towards us. And right now you can see that it's kind of gray, kind of gloomy out across other portions of West Michigan. And we're still expecting more impacts after this first storm rolls through, potentially dropping winds. The next big issue that we're going to be worrying about is the potential for some flooding rains. You hear our weather radio going off potentially on my microphone. Uh, likely a severe thunderstorm watch has been issued. I'll have Sarah or Matt give me the information on that and then we'll deliver that to you. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, we lose the storm action and then we rake in the heat. Heat advisories in place for Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to be seeing some of our heat indices feeling like 100 degrees. And that's kind of weather that we haven't really experienced in about two years here. Finally, things calm down and cool down by Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But today, a lot of threats that we need to monitor.